Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Pokemon Conquest, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In the last episode, we got started, and in this episode, we're gonna keep getting started, but we're gonna have two kingdoms in our ownership, I hope. I should have gotten an info, just a good idea of what we need to fight against. Obviously, I'm gonna take the only two warriors I have. I just barely outmuscle them. By one. <laughs> so this should be an even match. Banga's armies appeared in Hideyoshi's Kingdom of Ignis. Let's do this. The Kingdom of Ignis. Hmm? You're the warlord of Aurora? I never thought I'd see you over here. Well, two can play that game. If it's a battle you want, I'm ready. Fine! Then a battle it is! But Lord Bonga is going to win! Ho oh, ho ho! Aren't you a cutie? I could do with someone like you in my army. Don't call me cutie! I would never fight for someone like you anyway! Huh? Don't be so hasty! Once you see me in action, you might change your mind! What happened to his eyelids? Did they just disappear? Alright! I think it's time for a battle, don't you? Okay, 20 turns, in March. Oh, oh this could be dangerous. Okay, I guess we can't do much about that fire yet. This guy's main Pokemon is a Chimchar. And as you can see, the two guys we fought before in the first episode, their Pokemon are just slightly stronger now. This is the Battlefield of Ignis! Pretty impressive, huh? The Pillars of Fire and the Magma will stop you from getting near me! But my Chimchar isn't bothered by things like that! Well, if that's the case, maybe I want you to come forward. Alright, I have an idea. We might have to deal with the Chimchar directly. So, the, I think the best thing for us to do be ready for it. So, rather than just split our troops up, we'll see if we can actually isolate one at a time. The Bidoof obviously cannot get across the lava, unlike the other two Pokemon. Ooh, okay, Chimchar can actually move further. Banga! Look! It seems there are times when the Pillars of Fire disappear. Eevee and Jigglypuff can move across the area safely then. Oh, that means that some of these are going to go out too. So I better be ready for that. Hmm, I can send my Jigglypuff out right now. That may not be such a bad idea. Only like 85% and I'll get three hits. At least I think that's why I'm reading it. I like that uh, Chimchar's face when it gets slapped. Okay, if you try to go after uh, my Jigglypuff, I can just move it over here. I've got big ambitions, you know. Ignis is just the beginning for me. Before long, all the kingdoms will be mine. Retreating? Oh, now I can't get him from here. If your HP is getting low or if you're suffering from burns, you can recover in a hot spring. That might actually be very helpful. Tepig's moving over there, too. The volcano has become active. Uh-oh. Yeah, I still can't get over there. Let me use my top speed right now. Oh, this is perfect. I think we just can do some extra damage to that Chimchar. Oh, 
Ooh, we got a crit. Looks like they got us. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh, and I can move again. Oh, but that gift is in the lava. And I can't get on it. I might have to do without. He's getting another crit. Blaze? Okay. What is that ability? Hold on. What does Blaze do? Oh, I, I guess I can't find out. Or maybe there is a way to find out. Blaze. Hmm. Or maybe I can find out once it was actually on my side. Oh, that's how you find out. Raise the attack when HP is low. Alright, cool. Oh, I can't reach it. Um, let's see. I think Eevee can easily take care of Tepig. But let me move over here anyway. Because I want to get to those gifts over there. Bidoof can't go into the magma. He's useless. How can you say that about your own partner? Okay, I didn't get burned yet. Oh, and the Bidoof is moving. Oh! Good to know the present's still there. Hmm. Alright, I'm not too worried about the Bidoof. So let's take out that Tepig right now. Uh, actually... Maybe I should, like, try to get a Pokemon outside of the lava. So that when I get its present, I can actually pick it up. So we'll try to make them pursue us. Ah, it's staying in the lava. some reason those flames won't go away. Maybe I need to come back here later when I have a fire Pokemon on my team. So with that, let's take care of that Bidoof right now. Oh, I almost beat it. Actually, I should have let Jigglypuff go after it first. Might have been able to get a Celebrate then. I'll remember this, you know. Don't think I won't. Oh, you got an ability? Ah, you're just boosting your attack. Ooh, that hurts. Uh, can I still get those gifts? Huh? You gotta be kidding, right? Ignis Castle is ours! I can't get those gifts because the volcano took out the other Pokemon. Wow. That sucks. Would have liked to have gotten those. Hey, our move got stronger. And they all retreated. So I guess I'll be fighting them again at some point. My castle! How could I lose it? I have made a vow. I will be the one to find the legendary Pokemon. And that means I will be back. Yay, I claim victory. Hideyoshi's army has been defeated and has been forced to retreat. Congratulations, Lord Bonga. Your second castle. I'm sure we'll start making allies before long. The only thing is, I don't know how... I don't believe it! You went into battle without knowing stuff like that? I watched your battle in Ignis. You're impressive for one so young. But if you don't even know how to make allies, then I guess you've got a way to go before you can be considered a real warlord. Hey, don't be like that. I wasn't making fun of you. Tell you what, I'll teach you how to make new allies, alright? 
My name's Keiji, or Kaiji, by the way. Keiji? I, I don't know how to pronounce those names. Just come to Ignis Castle when you're ready to learn. Battle has been won. Yeah, I'll save progress. So apparently you can recruit more warlords. Oh, where is it finished? Yeah, advance the next month. It's April now. And I can only go back to Ignis Castle. So let's do that. Hey there, you two! Oh, that's right. I was gonna teach you how to make new allies. Well, it's pretty easy. Not all warriors are part of an army, you see. There are plenty of free warriors around as well. Ones that are unattached. For example, um... Ah, I know! Go and have a look in that cave. There's probably one or two in there. Start by seeing if you can recruit them. Hmm, me? Nah, have a bit of a free spirit. So I'm not keen on staying in one place for too long. And anyway, I've got some things I need to buy in the shop. See you later, Bonga. He's gone! Where'd he tell us to go again? The cave, was it? Oh, apparently you can go to a shop as well. Hanagiri shop. Increases Pokemon's energy by feeding them Panagiri. That could actually come in handy. Let's go to the cave first. Let's go. Hi. Alright, we see like one Warlord and he's got a Charmander. Takator is his name. Lord Banga! It looks like there are some warriors in here. So you want me to join you, eh? Well, you're gonna have to show me what you can do first. Defeat this warrior with four turns? Hmm. Okay, so there are certain conditions you need to fulfill before you can actually uh, do that. Well, I guess there's no reason for me not to use this right now. Alright, let's, uh, wait for that Charmander. Swiftly and accurately! Oh, it's got Ember as well. Wait, can my Jigglyp- can the Jigglypuff reach it? Actually... Let me go get that gift now. Yay! We got a potion! Now let's do some work. Four hits? I like that! Okay, we definitely got this one. Barring a catastrophe, like us missing, like both our attacks, and there's no way that's going to happen. We won. I cannot even hope to live to your excellence. Live up to your excellence, I mean. I surrender. Yay! That was easy enough. Okay, we got another potion. That's great. And we recruited Takatora. Select warriors you wish to recruit. Oh, you... Apparently you can select them or you can choose not to recruit them? Huh. Sure, I'll recruit you. You have my thanks. I shall serve you faithfully. You can recruit free warriors by defeating them in four turns, defeating them using a super effective move, or defeating them without any of your allies suffering damage. Ooh. There are, however, some free warriors who can only be recruited by fulfilling certain other special conditions. Our army is growing nicely. I think things are looking up, Lord Bonga. Hmm. Huh. Feeling pretty happy with yourself, huh? Oh, you again. I hope you're not resting on your laurels just because you've conquered Ignis. Because Aurora is surrounded by other kingdoms. And there's still Greenleaf and Fontaine to go. 
You know, the Warriors of Ignis. They mostly used Fire-type Pokémon, right? Strong against Grass, weak against Water. Heh, <laughs> everybody knows that, of course. Anyway, I hear that the Warrior of Greenland Greenleaf uses Grass-type Pokémon. What are you two talking about? Oh my god, that face. I don't understand any of this. You know, I don't think the Warlords of either Greenleaf or Fontaine have any interest in trying to conquer other kingdoms. I recognize your chance to make a move. Come on, we don't have time to stand around here chatting. We've got to get to the Panagiri shop and increase our Pokemon's energy. It sounds like there's just no way of avoiding battle. Uh, yeah. All right, so now it's May, and we have two kingdoms we can go against. We can challenge the Warlords of Greenleaf and Fontaine to battle. The more kingdoms you conquer, the more places you'll be able to travel to. You'll meet new Pokémon too, and each kingdom will have all sorts of interesting new locations to visit. Select a castle belonging to Bonga's army to move your, to command your warriors to move. You won't send me off on my own anywhere, will you? I like to stay with you, Lord Bonga. If that's all right. I could actually do that. Okay, so from Ignis, we can go to any of those places, so that's convenient. Okay, there's four of them you gotta go against. And here are four as well. Alright. What's in Ignis, anyway? We're already in Ignis, so we don't need to march there. But apparently there are some new trainers we can go against. So why don't we actually do that for a little while? There's a wild Charmander, apparently. Yeah, let's go back into the cave. Maybe we can recruit some more Fire-type users. Doesn't look like we can recruit anyone here, but that's okay. What is your ability? No, don't end the turn. Can I go to info? Not from here, apparently. Oh, wait, yes, you can. You just had to do that. Okay. That's Ember. That's Blaze. What is your uh, added bonus? Increases probability of inflicting status ailments on enemies for three turns. Now, apparently this uh, warrior I have specializes in flying and fire types. Hmm, I can go over there if I want to. Let's stay over here for now. Go over there. Sure, let's do that. There's a Tepig, a Charmander, and a Daramaka, apparently. I'm thinking the Pokemon with the purple aura is the wild one. I think that's what it means by the purple aura. Okay, Charmander can go across lava, which is neat. So I'm gonna put you over here. Okay, I can't really do that because I can Ember has to go, like, one space ahead and whatnot. So I can attack the Tepig over here if I want to. So I don't really have much movement, unfortunately. So I'll have to take on the Charmander head-on. Apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> but I can use Ember if I go over here, can I? Yes, I can. It won't be as effective, but I might be able to do enough damage to possibly uh, soften it up in a big way. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll get a crit. Oh, I just got it with Blaze. All right, 
Alright, let's try to weaken that Daromaka. Ah, three hits, I'll accept that. Jeez, only did four even with Blaze active. That's not bad. Flame Wheel? Run up? Hold on, what does run up even do? Uh, I can't see. Because it doesn't have like any trainer attached to it. Alright, well, I guess I can try to eliminate that, uh, Charmander at last. I went through the wall, okay. Yay, it's a present! And I can go again! I think I want to go after that Daramaka. Please crit. Okay, whatever. So we got this guy completely isolated. Even though I can go across lava. Sure. Just soften it up even more. Yeah, do your flame wheel on someone not effective. Oh, that was a crit as well. That definitely did not work out for us. Right, let me go over here. Should have gone after the Daramaka first. I keep realizing it when it's too late. We got a pretty cord though. Here. Slap it across the head. Yay, we did it. Your might is overwhelming. I have no match for you. I cannot hide it. Hey, we got a hundred gold. We can use them for the shops. All right, I've had enough of this. Time for you to go down. Yeah, this is probably the best way to go. with a ember. Great, he got blaze active. Alright, sweet song. Does that work for all Pokemon? Okay, so it has a nice lot of range. There. We got ourselves healed and we can still move. Too bad I can't just use Lullaby. Boosting your defense, eh? It's not gonna make that much of a difference. Now let's end this. Or get close to ending it. Yeah! Or is that what I needed you sooner? Oh, oh, I'm so, so, so sorry. <laughs> the battle has been won. The victorious warriors and Pokemon will be added to the gallery. Yay. Oh, wow. You got a nice lot of Link there, Takatora. Okay, pretty cord. I guess that's another thing you can just sell. Oh, we can recruit this guy. I wonder if there's like a cap to how many uh, generals you can recruit. I'm thinking there is at some point. Riku? Yeah, you can come with us. 
You have my eternal gratitude for extending this olive branch. Now I'll advance the next month again. We don't have to worry about being attacked. Because they'll just do nothing. But I don't want to waste too much time. I'm thinking we should go for this uh, kingdom first. And then after we get enough grass types, we can start attacking this one. I think that'll be the game plan, don't you think? Alright, before we do that... Why don't we go check out... The Panagiri Shop. A warrior can enter locations like the shop or the Panagiri Shop and leave again without buying or selling anything. In such a case, they will not use up their turn. Okay, so... Increase Pokemon's energy by feeding them Panagiri. I think I'll send you two. Well, hello there! I've not seen you around here before. Would you like to hear a little about the services we offer here at the Panagiri Shop? The Panagiri Shop is a place where you can buy Panagiri to feed to your Pokemon to restore their energy. Hmm? What exactly is this energy, you ask? Well, it's kind of a measure of your Pokemon's enthusiasm, I suppose. The higher it is, the more powerful they are. Now, every Pokemon has a different energy level. What's more, their energy levels change every three months or so. In other words, it's very hard to have all your Pokemon in top condition at the same time. That's why you should be sure to drop by with some Panagiri if you got a big battle coming up. In fact, how about I serve one up right now? Would you like the look of Jigglypuff? So, what'll it be? Uh, can get one for free, so sure. Hey, energy level went up. The link between warrior and partner Pokemon has improved. Okay, so apparently I should have took the other guy too, but how would I have known? Who would you like to send? Okay, so I guess charisma is something I need to look into. Like, maybe the more charisma I have, the better the price I'll get. Hi there! Thanks for visiting our shop! I'm gonna give you some, a quick rundown of what we do here. Here at the shop, you can buy and sell all sorts of different items. The prices are different for every customer, but items are always cheaper for those who are a little charismatic. Got all that? Great! Have fun shopping! Alright, so maybe I can get more use out of, uh, selling this. Yeah, I'll sell the soft clay. And the pretty cord. And what would we like to buy? I think we should buy some super potions. Restores HP when standing in magma. That would be helpful. Okay, you can buy equipment as well. Raises the warrior's wisdom slightly. Prevents burning and freezing. Slightly improves the link between warrior and Pokemon. So I guess if you have that, it can make boosting your uh, link even faster. But for now, I think we should buy... I don't want to buy three. Let's buy two super potions. There. Oh, I clean forgot! To change your items, go to a castle and select equip. Alright. Cool. The link between warrior and partner Pokemon is improved. Really? Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so this one doesn't have anything equipped. I'll give you a potion. And... Uh... Did I buy two super potions? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh yeah, you got the super potion equipped. Okay, you know what? That's pretty good. And they said single use, so if I use it, then I gotta buy another one. I think that's how it works. We still don't have passwords unlocked yet, so we have to... Well, we gotta conquer Greenleaf and Fontaine. And we'll probably get passwords later. I don't know how later, but... That's why we're doing this Let's Play to find out. So I'm going to stop here. 
And in the next episode, we'll uh, go after Greenleaf next. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.